Hey everybody, welcome to the Breakthrough Moment podcast. I'm really excited to have our brand new guest here, Yvette Salvaris. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. For those of you who have just joined this podcast, we're going to be sharing the breakthrough moments that allow business owners and entrepreneurs to have that next level of success. And so I'm really excited to interview you, Yvette. I know that you have an amazing business. Uh, for those of you at home who don't know who Yvette is, she's an owner, director of Ethical Training Solutions. She's a qualified teacher, trainer, and in all aspects of the industry. She's an absolute expert, and she's super passionate about the care and education industry and so you guys specialize specifically in education training recruitment but specifically the care industry is that right yeah that's correct anything to help the care industry they need all the help they can because they care about a lot of people that's it it's a full-time job isn't it yes so would love to dive, dive straight into this for breakthrough moment let's hear it okay well i guess my moment started when i started this company of mine nine years ago. Can you believe it'll be nine years tomorrow that I started this? My breakthrough was that, first of all, the care industry being childcare, being aged care, disability, all those industries, they need really well-trained and passionate staff. So when I was working in higher education as a training manager, we should say the place that I was working for, their ethics and my ethics didn't align. So my breakthrough moment was, you know what, I can really make a difference to the care industry, get some really awesome people qualified and do it in a really good and ethical way so the care industry has amazing stuff to lead them into the future. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, yeah, tell us a bit more. Do you have any other breakthrough moments? I'm sure you've got loads. I'm sure every day there's breakthroughs. So another moment was when our first class of childcare students graduated. I had this breakthrough moment because when I first started, I'm like, oh, am I doing the right thing? Is this, you know, the right thing? Like, can I do it, right? And it wasn't until, and you're going to probably think this is a bit strange, until a good 10, 11 months when my first class was about to graduate, they had this amazing thing. My goodness, this is working. I can do this. My students were getting jobs. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm having a breakthrough moment here. This is working. This is helping people. Um, and then I decided, you know what? If I can do this, I'm going to continue doing it and make it my full time job, occupation, whatever you want to call it. Oh, what a great feeling that would have been. Yeah. How that was, awesome. yeah, it's amazing. That is so good. And so I think this is where a lot of people, especially who might be having, uh, you know, they're in a job right now, or maybe they're, they're trying to start their own business um, and really not knowing where to start. But it's like having those little wins. And when you dive in and you go, gosh, this is working good, you know, that allows you to go, I'm going to continue in that direction. And so did that change your mindset or your perception on business at all? Yes. Funny enough, I come from a business family, I guess you could say. So I grew up around my parents running their own business. So it's always been a part of me that I never thought I could do it. You know, I've always worked for someone, right? But, you know, you graduate, you go in and work and do your thing. Um, but there's always been this little thing in my head going, no, 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 I can do this myself. And, you know, my brothers will say, right, we're both crazy that way. He runs his own company in New York. I'm running my company here and I'll uh, it comes from our parents, our grandparents, our great grandparents. There's always been some sort of business thing going on in our family. So it did change my mindset because I knew I could do it, but it took me a while to understand that I could, if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely. It's a common theme I've noticed amongst interviewing many people and, and entrepreneurs is that there was someone in their environment growing up. They gave them a, an example or a model you know, business is possible. But I, I was the same. I had my step, my second stepdad, um, you know, he's like, hey, I'll help you with business. Make your own business. When I was like 16, 17. But I didn't know what to do. Like, what, what do you do? So, but yeah, it's sometimes just having those examples is one thing. But the next thing is like taking action on it and really diving into that. Yeah. Uh, and so were there any obstacles or big challenges that you've had along the way? And, um, oh. and 
dealt with them to kind of have any other breakthroughs and move your business forward. Yeah, there are so many. Where do I start? <laughs> so I guess you could say that a lot of people didn't take me seriously. I'm a person who likes to have fun, you know, go out there, have fun. That's just my personality. That's just me. So when I went and set up this business, I was yeah, right. As if you're going to do that. I'm like, watch me. So that was like an obstacle. People trying to take me seriously. I think over the years, people have woken up and go, oh my goodness, she really is a serious business woman. It's like, well, yeah, I am. Um, that was really hard. And, um, I still get that. Like, to this day, like just recently, somebody hasn't met me before, asked me, oh, but what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I run my own company, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, no, seriously, what do you do? <laughs> and we're like, no, seriously, is my website, is my social. They looked me up and went. <laughs> wow, isn't that interesting? But do you have any advice for, say, anyone that might have been in your position regarding that? Yeah, don't listen to people. Do what you feel is right. If I listen to my doubters, do you really think I'd be here today? Yeah. That is interesting. Cool. And then in terms of like these these breakthroughs and these challenges, how has your mindset changed from the very beginning? You're going, oh, maybe I have this idea. Maybe I can give this a go. So then today saying, you know, now people still question me, and but now I've been doing this amazing work and helping so many people. Yeah. How's your mindset changed? What's probably been the one or two big mindset shifts for you? My mindset definitely has changed. You kind of realize no one's coming to save you when you run your own business. You have to save yourself, right? And it can really mess with you a little bit, right? So I have to shift my mind. I have to think, right, there's no one behind me. There's a big future in front of me. I have to shift that mindset and think about that future. And, you know, if an idea comes in my head, don't be afraid to go with it. Even though people might doubt you, I had to really kind of have that breakthrough moment where I'm like, okay, I'm going to give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen? Like, I can only try, right? And that was a lot for me because I'm so used to everything flowing and working and sometimes you've got to chance take a chance on something that may not work and just to see what will happen. That's such a good piece of advice, 100%. Just get out there. The, the future of the industry, right? We've got so many changes to the economy and technology or government, you know, specifically relating to the care industry. Where do you see or what's the prediction for the future of your industry? Yeah, that, that's a very interesting question because there's so much happening. I'm not just locally, we're looking worldwide too. I mean, so many different things. So in terms of education, because that's predominantly part of what I do, there's a lot of this shift towards online learning. So away from your traditional class-based learning, which I think is a little sad because it's really great to have that interaction with your students because you know they're learning and they're engaging. And when you're delivering something online, it's a total different ball game. <laughs> so you have to find different ways to engage your students. So I think the trend is heading towards that. I know that I've had so many requests from people going, hey, I want to do a cert three in individual support. I'll do a cert three in childcare, but can you do it online? Do I have to do face to face? And that's showing me there's a big shift towards that sort of thing going on within education. Yeah, okay. It's interesting feedback, eh? So what would be your... Your big message to the future, uh, I guess, entrepreneurs in this space or workers or carers, what would be your big, your big kind of message to them? Let's work backwards. So we'll, we'll start with the people who want to work in the care industry. Let's start with them. Get the right training. Get the right certification. Don't be dodgy and don't freak people off. Do it because you love it. It's not just to make a quick buck off of people because... That is not going to help you in the care industry. You're there to care for people, whether it's disability, aged care, or child care. You're there for the love of it. Yes, we have to make money. And I completely understand that. I'm a business. I need to make money, right? But we're not there to make a bazillion dollars and drive a pink Lamborghini. That's not what it's about. It's about caring for people and loving what you do. And if you love what you do, it won't feel like work. Yeah. 
that's such a good one. That's such a good one. And yeah, it is. There's there's some charlatans out there, right? There's great businesses. There's some chunky businesses. So doing the right thing ways is, is important. Yeah. If you channel, oh yeah. It's okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> no. We'll both have some water then. So if you could challenge the audience to take one action today, what would it be? To take one action. Just do it. I know that's a slogan for a sporting brand, but hey, just do it because life is too short, right? You don't know what's around the corner. You, If you've got a passion and you've got an idea, give it a go. Don't just sit there and procrastinate and go, hey, maybe whatever. Just get off your butt, try it out. If it works, great. If it doesn't, at least you can say you tried. For sure, they say regret weighs tons, you know, so get out there, give it a crack. Interesting. Interesting. Last question. And before I love you to share more about your business and your your to help. But if you could go back in time and start your business again, what would you do differently? Do you know what? This is gonna sound really strange. But I wouldn't change a thing because I've learnt from my mistake and I always say a mistake is not a bad thing or a failure is not a bad thing because it teaches you something new, teaches you how to go forward. So, you know what, I, I probably wouldn't change anything because even though I've made some mistakes along the way and some of my ideas have been failures, that helped me, I guess you could say. But that's a little bit different. I know a lot of people probably say, oh, I'll change this and that. No, because I like learning. I, I'm an educator at the end of the day, right? So. If I can learn from failures or mistakes that I've done within my own business, then that's a good thing. And, well, I guess the the thing you would, I guess, yeah, it wouldn't change anything. But just allowing there to be more acceptance and, I guess, gratitude for, for the process along the way. Even though there's the challenges in the beginning, it's just like add it, sprinkle in a little bit more gratitude and, and optimism, <laughs> you know, you will get through. So that, that's so great. Uh, I'd love for you to tell everyone at home what your business is, why you started it, do you know who you like to help? And any, any, how can they get in touch with you? Yeah, cool. So, as you know, my business, Ethical Training Solutions, we've been around for nine years. And, you know, we help everybody. We're Melbourne based, but we are branching out into Adelaide as well. So, we help people with qualifications for the care industry as well as employment in the care industry. So, if you're based in Melbourne or Adelaide, Give me a call. I can help you with qualifications. I can help you with professional development. We can also help you with finding a job within those industries as well. Amazing. Everybody get in touch with Yvette. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate this. Everyone at home, like, share, and comment. And we look forward to seeing you on the next interview. Thank you so much for your time and your breakthrough moments. Appreciate you a lot, Yvette. Thank you. No probs. Thank you so much for having me.